hello everyone in this class i'm going to teach you to automatically build a water distribution network but before that i want to introduce to you the causes which i offer on hydraulic modeling of water supply distribution network through modeling software i offer three causes okay the first cause it is basic level the second one intermediate level and the third one is advanced level program these are the three courses which i offer on the this topic okay so if you are interested or if you want to learn more on this topic okay please feel free to register contact me i will help to teach you either one of these or all of these courses okay so for today's session i'm going to cover one agenda on intermediate level program okay this topic it is from the second cause of intermediate level okay so on intermediate level program this cause it has these nine cause contents okay as you see here so if you will register for intermediate level cause these nine agenda are the topics which we will cover on this intermediate level okay so i welcome you to register for this cause okay you are welcome so in this session i'm going to teach you the agenda number five which is automated creation of a hydraulic model for a water distribution network okay the method of automatic creation of water distribution network is a very very interesting topic okay why this method helps to save time okay because we are building we are creating a hydraulic model automatic okay what does it mean by saying that it is save time okay it means that with the help of this method you can create a hydraulic model in a software within a short period of time okay so let's go and see which grid tools are being used okay for creating this model automatic okay the first one we say here building models for water distribution network using model builder okay what is a model builder okay this is a grid tool okay we are saying that when we want to build a water distribution network okay we are using existing drawings of a proposed network layout okay whether it can be in card shape file or spreadsheets okay what do i mean here we mean that the first thing that you should create a network alignment in card or gis okay after that after creating your network okay pipeline network with a polyline then the model builder tool is used to extract the 
polyline information to create a network model okay because when you are creating the pipeline network you are using a polyline so from there we can use a model builder tool to extract those polyline information to create the network okay when i say model builder okay let's go and see on this software see here okay on tool here tool there is this tool called the model builder this is a grid tool in this software which is used to create the hydraulic model of water distribution network automatically okay here we say that uh, when we say model model it means that uh, is equal to software plus data when you have software and data you can create uh, your model okay also we say that uh, when you enter data in the software you can enter only once but uh, you can use it many times okay and also when you fix the error in the software you only fix fix it once okay you fix that error once then you have solved your problem okay the second tool okay it is called the T-Rex this one terrain extractor okay this is when you want to assign the elevation to the network elements okay this T-Rex we can say that he, or we say that he, it is automatic assigning of elevations to the model through a variety of data source using T-Rex okay so T-Rex is the tool in the software which is used to assign the elevations to the model automatically okay what, what do i mean here i mean that on these junctions okay there are many junctions here or nodes okay so to enter elevation on this network it is very 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 difficult very tedious and more time consuming okay but with the aid of this T-Rex this one here T-Rex you can assign elevations to this hydraulic model automatically within a short period of time okay so T-Rex is the tool which is used to assign elevations to the hydraulic elements on or in the software okay <coughs> So the data sources for assigning elevations okay it is DEM digital elevation models digital terrain models DTM and uh, TIN okay these are the data sources which you can use to assign elevation using this tool T-Rex okay Again, the third one it is called the load builder okay this load builder is the tool which is used to assign demands to the nodes automatically okay let's see here do you see these nodes okay you can assign demands on these nodes automatically using this tool called the load builder okay so load builder is also the third tool which is used to assign the demand on the nodes in the hydraulic model okay what is the need for the load builder we are saying that assigning demand to the nodes is the difficult step okay so we use this load builder to make our task 
easier okay so building meter informations land use and the population data are used in the model loading okay you can have building meter informations also land use or population you can use this data to load the demand on the nodes okay also these informations okay it is always generally available from the GIS okay this building meter you can prepare your data sets in GIS or land use in GIS and also information in GIS and you can use on model load builder to assign the demand okay so need for model builder T-Rex and the load builder we say that these three tools help to save time okay because when you use these three tools it simplifies or it makes easier to assign the elevations demand and also creation of your hydraulic model in the software within a short period of time okay so these grid tools the grid tools are very very important to assist you in accomplishing your task of building the hydraulic model in the software okay this model builder t-rex and the lodi builder okay so friends if you want to learn more okay on how to prepare data sets to use in model builder lodi builder and t-rex please contact me to register the intermediate program or to register one of those three courses which I offer this one here okay we will explore more on this topic okay I hope you have understood these grid tools for automated design okay for more hands-on please join one of these course so as we will explore more these good tools and will really practice on hands-on on doing this assignment okay thank you very much and have a good day bye